What is the crack lads and welcome back to another player review and a pack review. So today Konami have dropped the first epic cards in eFootball 2023 and it is pretty decent I would say. I think that we've got what I possibly think could be the, the best card uh, or one of the best cards potentially in the game for a DMF, CMF type role um, and could be the new meta, I would say, uh, depending on how you train him up. But we will head over to eFootballDB and train him up as well. We are going to spin a couple as well at the end of the video, so stick around for that one. But we do have Wesley Schneider, Matthaus and Dennis Burkamp. Now, obviously, it would be strange to see Dennis Burkamp in an Inter Milan shirt, and I was talking to Shales about it, and Shales said that he didn't really have a successful time at Inter Milan. It was where Arsenal was where he kind of made his name, and obviously, um, you know, with the with the national team and Ajax and, and stuff like that, he was an absolute beast for Arsenal, obviously, and that's what he's probably remembered for. Schneider, I think, had a really good success at Inter, and Matthaus, again, you would probably consider him, you know, playing for different clubs, but again, they're really nice uh, epic characters to get it is the first epic cards released and there is 150 players in this agent here as well so you've got your three legends and then you've got a mixture of italian syria squads and teams in here so yeah i mean if you are going to be trying to get these boys i think you definitely need to be getting one of the epic players to make it worth your while but let me know if you're if you guys are going to spin or skip uh personally i'm probably going to open two packs and then decide what i'm going to do but i'm not really counting my my um my, I'm not getting my hopes up for it. So we are going to start with Schneider, right? So Schneider is obviously one of, if not the best players, I think, uh, for attack and midfield, if you play a certain way, right? With obviously the way that the gameplay has gone at the moment, it is all about now, I would say, kind of, just really getting the ball to feet and absolutely being able to dominate when you have the ball at feet, you know, being able to drag defenders out of position and keep it as simple as possible. That's kind of the way the gameplay has gone at the moment. Keep it as simple as possible. Keep the ball moving. And I think Schneider has got incredible stats for that, right? So he's got a really nice player render as well. He's got unbelievable player skills, unwavering form. He's on B rating. And look at those base stats, lads. 82 ball control, 84 low pass, 84 curl. 81 kicking power and we want to be training him up to be the best that he can possibly be by getting him into um you know like kind of peak schneider area right so we are going to take a look at schneider here he's fully maxed up over on eFootballDB.com. the link will be in the description as always look at what he trains into lads absolute unbelievable stats right will he be a beast I still think that there is probably one or two better attacking midfielders out there, but just for the range of options you have with Schneider, 80 acceleration is very, very nice, 82 offensive awareness, fine, but look at the plays kicking, the curl, the ball control, the dribbling, the tight possession, the low pass, the lofted pass, and the balance, like... This guy is going to be like, I think, Iniesta. I still think Iniesta could potentially um, be a better fit for you, depending on how you play. If you are going to be running and gunning, like as in getting the ball, running, passing, running on, um, instead of like, you know, playing long bouts of possession football, I think that Schneider could be an absolute beast. Um, he looks to be absolutely incredible, 35 levels. And obviously they are his overall stats that you can see there and all his, uh, his training points and stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, Schneider is definitely somebody that I would be keeping an eye on if I do pack him. Um, hopefully, we do get somebody there. But yeah, he will be an absolute monster, I think, in terms of um, just being able to get on the ball and attack in midfield, you know, and just being able to dominate by linking everything together. And he's got so many good player skills, as you can see here. Uh, and he is going to be, I think, one of the guys that a lot of people use. Creative playmaker as well. He does do have a lot of nice AI movements. So up next, we have Dennis Burkamp. I'm going to leave Matthaus till the end because I think he is going to be a new meta player. Dennis Burkamp, right, all these guys have got very high levels that you can train up. So he's a deep line forward and he's got 38 levels from the 93 to 94 interseason that he played with him. And on the surface, lads, he does not look like an amazing card. But obviously, these stats are going to be very, very low, his base stats, because he has got 83 or 38 levels to go, and he is only an 82 overall SS. But he can play center forward, and he can play AMF. So potentially, if your game style suited 
to be more kind of possession based, to be more kind of like methodical in your passes and stuff, and you wanted to be slower based. I think Burkham could be a perfect AMF for you guys if you do decide to play that. Again, he looks really, really nice here. Um, again, with the hair and stuff, I think he does have a nice player render. And again, he does have amazing player skills. He has got amazing running long ranger. He's got a wavering form. All the legends and epic players seem to have that. Sombrero, soul control, first time shot, one touch pass, true passing. So he's the perfect link up man. Now, when we actually go over to eFootball DB and we take a look at his stats here he does have a couple of other cards obviously and there will be one or two cards upcoming again in packs but i think this guy stacks up quite well right so he's got 38 levels to go his speed and his acceleration his offensive awareness and his finishing his ball control his dribbling his tight possession everything is very very solid is he going to be overpowered i personally don't think so i think if you are going to be playing with burkamp I think you have to use him in a very, very specific way. He has got some really nice stats, and he kind of reminds me of... I actually don't know who he reminds me of. Because he's a deep line forward, he is going to be just kind of sitting there and then making those runs every now and again with the AI. But he, he kind of reminds me of Forlan, in a way. Um, but he also... I've seen a couple of clips of the lads that have packed him using him and stuff, and I would like to try him out myself. I think he has potential to be an absolute beast... Um, but again, the ball control is going to be his main thing. I'm just a little worried about that balance that he has um, if he's going to be playing as a centre forward. But as an attacking midfielder, I would probably put a little bit less into ball control and I would probably put a little bit more into low pass and stuff like that. So you could go to dribbling, you could take that down and then you could pop up this um, by a couple and then you could have the lower body strength either there or you could have the aerial strength either there and you're talking about, you know, very decent stats there. His shooting, if you're not going to be playing him as a striker, you could actually take that the whole way down and leave him as a link up man. That is kind of probably what I would recommend you guys to do and you could have a stat something like that with 90 ball control, 88 offensive awareness and 89 low pass as an amf that's kind of how i would play him and then last but not least we do have the main man one of my favorite ever players in my club matthaus matthaus he lads this guy looks insane right so when i first saw him i was like right he's got a dmf right he's but he's a box to box but he's got 70 offensive awareness 75 defensive awareness 77 acceleration and he's got 33 levels that you can train up. On top of that, he's got really, really nice mid-range low pass and lofted pass. He's got nice ball control and tight possession. He's got really good aggression and defensive engagement. 85 stamina is incredible. 83 kick and power. You can keep people honest by taking long range shots. And then the cards and the player skills that he has. Long range shooting, rising shot, first time shot. As well as that, from an, a passing point of view, he's got true passing and weighted pass, which are two of the golden standard for that, you know, link up orchestrator type guy. And then defensively, he's got interception and man marking. So this guy can do, literally lads, he is the Swiss army knife. Now, the other player that really kind of like, I wanted to compare him to, is probably the most dominant DMF, CMF in the game, right? So when we take a look at Matthaus over on eFootballDB.com and we take a look at his stats, we have trained him up to be a 94 overall DMF. But look at the stats, lads, genuinely, right? Now, I've actually gone to town a bit here on his acceleration. I genuinely don't think you probably need to have that much acceleration on him of 85. So you could potentially take that down to like 82 and have six points left there to play around with. So depending on whether you want to turn him into a better passer, you want to turn him into a better dribbler, whatever you guys wanted to do, you could even add to his shooting. But I have kind of like complemented his strength, his defense, his passing, and then obviously his speed and dribbling is very, very solid as well. Now, I think this guy could potentially could potentially be one of the best, most meta players in it. And I think obviously all eyes are going to be on Burkamp because he's probably the bigger name, especially in Europe and especially in England and stuff like that. Um, there is going to be a lot of eyes on Burkamp because he's probably the bigger draw. But when you compare Matthaus to Vieira, right? Vieira is 94 overall, but look at the stats here, right? So you've got 75 and 82 for Matthaus. You've got 75 and 80 here. Offensively, he seems to be way better. Finishing, header, place, kicking, all that sort of stuff is better. Dribbling, 81, 76, 83 for Vieira. 
it's better, right? It's actually better there, apart from the dribbling. And you can boost that up a little bit if you wanted to change that around a small little bit as well. You could add to that and make him even better than Vieira. Passing, very similar, but Mataus actually clears it because he's got well above the lofted pass. And then defensively, he's actually better as well, apart from the defensive engagement. But Vieira has got only 79 offensive, defensive awareness and 85, ta or 85 tackling. This guy's got 81 and 78 tackling so again you can train this guy up there is a lot of ways that you could do it you could take down his passing a little bit and put him more defensively if you wanted and then you could put his aerial strength there as well and have his balance and his physical contact a little bit better um there's so many ways that you could train this guy up but let me know what you guys think i genuinely think Mataus could be an absolute monster in midfield i think i would love him above all else and uh yeah let me know what you guys think i'll be back quite soon with another couple of videos hope you're enjoying the videos lads don't forget to subscribe i will talk to you later let me know if you're going to spin or skip peace